I was eagerly waiting for this package because inside this box is a soldering pin and a soldering station. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. This is the soldering iron or soldering pin. And this is the ADE tool multifunction soldering station. I will review and test this soldering station in one of my upcoming videos. For now, I am going to start with the ADE tool AE560W soldering iron. I will completely review this soldering iron and I will also share with you the soldering results while using these different types of soldering tips. I'm going to use my and start digital microscope for recording the soldering so that you guys can clearly see the finishing results. Inside this box you will find the ATE tool AE560W adjustable constant temperature soldering iron user manual. And in this user manual you will find every bit of information. I highly recommend you guys should go through this user manual before you power up the soldering iron. You can also visit the ADE tool official website if you wish to know more about this soldering iron. Anyway, in this user manual, you will also find information about some 900M series soldering tips. I personally don't have all these soldering tips, but I have got some of the most commonly used soldering tips, which I'm going to use with the soldering iron. Now, this is the ADE tool 560W soldering iron. It supports a wide range of input voltages from 110 to 230 volt AC. Its model number is AE560W. It has this 900M T series tip which is switchable. Simply unscrew the nut, remove the casing and replace the current tip with a new one as per your soldering job. This is a ceramic ATE tool PTC. 2 core heating element. For now I will continue with the same soldering iron tip which is designed with an electroplating protective layer that can greatly prolong its service life. It's so slim and lightweight that you can hold it like a pin and it is suitable for all kinds of the soldering processes. It has this on off button and obviously using this button you can turn on and turn off the soldering iron. Using this knob you can set different temperatures between 200 and 500 degrees celsius with temperature stability up to plus minus 5 degrees celsius. This is the indicator light. When you switch on the soldering iron, the soldering iron is on temperature rising. Set the temperature as per your soldering job. The indicator light flashes when the temperature is below the set temperature. When the indicator light stops flashing, it means the soldering iron is ready for work. So let's go ahead and do some soldering. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models and how much the part costs at different amounts etc right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description.
I recorded this video with my NNSTAR digital microscope. Now let's try these other soldering iron tips one by one. Over the years I have used many soldering irons but the temperature stability of this soldering iron is outstanding as it uses closed loop automatic constant temperature control technology to ensure high stability, excellent performance and precise accuracy. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.